revised classification for the purpose of creating a map is to determine what sort of features we're going to map within our image. And so for this image here, where I've got the Landsat image of, the, of Darwin and surrounds up, I've decided that there's eight categories that I can that I should be able to map within this image. And I'm going to call them woody vegetation, mangroves, non-woody vegetation, bare ground or dry grass, burnt areas, coastal sands, urban area and water body. Now there's there's probably some more features that you can that you can pick out within the image, but one of the key things is to not get not get too tricky with it. So don't don't try and pick out too many categories otherwise you'll find it very difficult and the other thing is don't pick out too few so there is a bit of an art in trying to decide what is the right level of categorization for an image what you can do is to look at other classifications of similar areas and see what categories they've used but that's what I'm going to go with today so the next stage that we want to do want to go through is once we've decided what sort of categories that we're going to use figure out where those different features are in an image and so ha so get quite familiar with the image itself and where those different features are represented. Then what we want to do is to pick some samples of those areas that we can then use to create statistics and allow the software to find other areas that look similar to create the map. So to do that we're going to go to overlay and region of interest. And that pulls up the region of interest tool that we used previously to look at creating an image subset. But this time we're going to use it to define exactly that, regions of interest. So the first one perhaps that we might do is to have a look at, at a water body because that's quite easy to do. So we've got a large area of water off the coast here and you've got some, some quite deep areas and some more shallow areas as well. So I'm just going to pick an area that's, uh, that's quite representative here. So we're out in the relatively deep water. And what I'll do first of all is I'll, I'll name the area water. So I've just clicked on that there and I've type, type in water there. And if I right click on the, the colour here, I can get I can get different types, different colours that I can choose from. So I'll go with blue for this, as it's fairly intuitive that water is going to be blue. Okay, so that sets me up, ready to go. As you'll see in the ROI tool window, I've got an option of going to collect the region of interest in an image, the scroll, or the zoom. I'll I'll collect it in the image to start with here. So that's our large one on the side here. So to collect a region of interest, all I simply need to do is to left click my mouse button and, and I'm just clicking and dragging as, as I go and then when I'm, I'm happy with that area I've selected, I'll just right click once and then twice again to finish that off. And you'll see it now comes up in the, in the window here. I've selected 975 pixels there. Okay, and it's just letting me know I have one polygon of 975 pixels in total. Now the idea is to go around a few different areas, so that's that's one representative area of, of water. Might go to another area, perhaps a little bit deeper this time, and I'll try a different type of polygon. This time I'm just going to click out vertices, so I click once, twice, as many times as I like, and again right click once and twice to finish off. Okay, so this time I can see that I've got 2,795 pixels in total, and I have two polygons with that number of pixels all up. You can also use um, a rectangle or an ellipse for example here if you'd like to, to try those for your different polygons so that just draws out a rectangle there. And now what you can also do is if, if you decide oh, yeah actually I'm really not happy with that particular um, polygon that I, that I chose there use your middle mouse button or which is often the wheel on your mouse just to click on that and that will delete it and as you'll see that that was deleted um, automatically within the ROI tool window as well. If you're not happy with the with the ROI that you've selected at all you can just click on delete ROI and that will delete the whole one so if, if you've got multiple polygons within a single ROI you hit that one and that will get rid of the lot. Now there's no undo tool for that so just make sure that's actually what you want to do. Okay, so let's let's say we're, we're happy with the water for the moment. We can come back to that later if we like. 
but now we'd like to perhaps start a new region. So this one I'm going to have a look at mangroves and I will make the mangroves to be, we'll make those green I'll just move that off the screen for a moment and come up to an area where I can see we've got some mangrove vegetation in around here okay now just be careful if I if I want to move this box the red box now to get into an area closer to see the mangroves you'll actually start creating a region of interest so what you want to do is if you want to move that just switch that off to start with and then move that over and then you can switch it back on when you're ready but I'll switch it this time onto the zoom so I'm going to create the region of interest within my zoom window and you can see this area here is what I've got that's quite um, zoomed in in this little window here so what I'll do this time is I'm going to create a very small region of interest as I draw around here okay it's really difficult to see there but I have collected four pixels there I might make it a different color so we can see it a lot clearer uh, let's make this red okay so you can see I'll just pick those four pixels in there now what I want to do is to grow that region so if I click on grow in the ROI tool window you'll see that it's changed shape a little bit there and I get the question from Envy saying do you want to keep this result now I can click yes if I'm happy with that I've grown it to five pixels or if I click no I get some more options okay so let's have a look at the standard deviation multiplier if I in increase that to start with and click OK let's see what happens we get a larger region and what that's actually doing is just looking at neighboring pixels that are quite similar so if I click OK yeah I want to keep that one and I can continue growing it so click no perhaps I want to do four neighbors this time and click yes so you can continue growing your region like that and again if you're not happy with it click on the row um, you can delete it or again just click on the on your middle mouse button in if you've got a polygon in there you can delete those as well so I might delete that one and decide actually no I do want do want to create a larger region than that and draw out a box there for example might grow that and as you can see there was a lot more variability in those pixels that I just chose there and that's grown it into a much larger larger region there and if I click yes on that we've picked up 7,000 pixels and you see what that looks like in the overall window here so there's a few different things to play with but the idea is to have a go at using that and again change your names there and change your colors when you're ready to do so and pick up all the different categories that are in the image and make sure you get enough variability of different features so don't just pick one polygon in one area of mangroves try to go to a couple of different areas throughout your image